Peewee Herman creator Paul Rubens dies at 70. Paul Rubens, who disappeared behind a tight grey suit and bright red bow tie to create and star as the awkward man-child Peewee Herman on stage, on a groundbreaking kids TV show and on the big screen, has died. He was 70. His death in Los Angeles was announced Monday on his official Facebook page. Last night we said farewell to Paul Rubens, an iconic American actor, comedian, writer, and producer whose beloved character Pee Wee Herman delighted generations of children and adults with his positivity, whimsy and belief in the importance of kindness, a statement read. Paul bravely and privately fought cancer for years with his trademark tenacity and wit. A gifted and prolific talent, he will forever live in the comedy pantheon and in our hearts as a treasured friend and man of remarkable character and generosity of spirit. Rubens created Pee Wee, named for a brand of harmonica he had when he was a kid, while with the Los Angeles comedy troupe The Groundlings in 1978, then took the character to the stage after failing to land a spot on Saturday Night Live in 1980. His performance was captured for an HBO special in 1981. Rubens showed up in the Cheech and Chong films next movie, 1980, and Nice Dreams, 1981, and made the first of his many bizarre appearances on Late Night with David Letterman always in character and keeping his real identity a secret in 1982. He starred as Pee Wee during a 22 city tour of the US, including a stop in Carnegie Hall in 1984, and then in Warner Brothers. Pee Wee's Big Adventure, 1985, that resulted in a sequel, Randall Kleiser's Big Top Pee Wee, 1988. Rubens really came into his own on the CBS Saturday morning children's program Pee Wee's Playhouse, with 45 episodes running for five seasons from 1986 to 91. The eye-popping, candy-colored series ranked in 22 Emmy Awards, including two that he shared in 1988 and 91. Fooling around in a fantastical playhouse filled with toys, gadgets, and talking furniture, Pee Wee was accompanied by such characters as Captain Carl, Bill Hartman, Cowboy Curtis, Lawrence Fishburne, Miss Yvonne, Len Marie Stewart, Reba the Male Lady, S. Epida Merkerson, Jambi the Genie, John Paragon, Harry the Pterodactyl, Clocky, A Clock, and Magic Screen. Cindy Lauper sang the opening theme song. His career suffered a serious setback in July 1991 when he was arrested for indecent exposure in an adult theater in Sarasota, Florida. People have argued I've done everything consciously or unconsciously to destroy the character, he told THR Seth Abramovich in 2020. But it's the brand that won't die. It's still around. He was born Paul Rubenfeld in Peekskill, New York, on August 27, 1952 and raised in Sarasota, where his parents, Judy and Milton, owned the lamp store. His mom also was a teacher, and his dad was an automobile salesperson who had been a pilot during World War II for British, American, and Israeli forces. While in sixth grade, Rubens acted for the first time, portraying Nick Burns in 8,000 Clowns at the Players Theater. At Sarasota High School, he was president of the Drama Club. After graduation, Rubens enrolled in Boston University's theater department and a year later moved to Los Angeles to attend the acting program at California Institute of the Arts where his classmates included David Hasselhoff and Katie Seagal soon to join the Brown Girls. Here, he, Hartman and Paragon would sit in my car in the parking lot and fantasize and talk about what it would be like to be working actors, he recalled. For Pee Wee, Rubens was inspired by childhood favorites Howdy Doody, Captain Kangaroo, and Rocky and Goldie. After being loaned a great glad suit from Groundlings founder Gary Austin and finding a red bow tie in a pile of stuff backstage, it dawned on him that he could actually become Pee Wee Herman, he said. I could do something that was conceptual art, and the only person who could really know it was conceptual was me. For his first paying Hollywood gig, he auditioned for the dating game in character and was cast. Inspired by Sylvester Stallone and his experience on Rocky, Rubens demanded creative control on Pee Wee's Big Adventure and insisted Burton direct it. Made for $7 million, it grossed almost six times that. 
I'll never forget how Paul helped me at the beginning of my career. It would not have happened without his support, Burton wrote on Instagram. On July 26, 1991, while visiting his parents, Rubens was arrested in the lobby of the Triple X South Trail Cinema during the theater's triple bill of Catalina 5 Tiger Shark, Nurse Nancy, and Turn Up the Heat. With his mug shot everywhere and late night hosts poking fun at him, Toys R Us removed Pee Wee Toys from its shelves. Disney MGM Studios suspended a video with him from its studio tour, and CBS pulled five remaining episodes of his playhouse. He said he was through with the show anyway. He left the public eye, but he wasn't done. When people go, like, was your career over in 1991? I never viewed it like that, he told Abramovich. I make the rules of when I'm coming back and when I'm not coming back, and what I do next. In November 1991, he pleaded no contest to the charges in Sarasota. As part of his deal, he did 75 hours of community service and created and financed and the drug public service announcements. Rubens played the Penguin's father in Burton's Batman Returns and appeared in another 1992 film, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He would also work on the big screen in Guns and Checks in 1996, Mystery Man, 1999, as a superhero whose power is flatulence Ted Dems Blow. Solon's life during wartime, 2009. Rubens recurred on Murphy Brown as Andrew J. Lansing III, the nephew of Harry Marshall's dead president. He landed enough to be the only from 1995 to 97 and on Steven Soderbergh's mosaic as J.C. Shipper, a confidant of Sharon Stone's character, in 2018. He also appeared on TV on Everybody Loves Raymond, Reno 9-11, Pushing Daisies, 30 Rock, What We Do in the Shadows, The Blacklist, and Portland Dive. Advertisement He was a voice actor on projects including Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, Star Wars Rebels, Robot Chicken, Family Guy, Tron, Uprising, Smurfs, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, Minecraft, Story Mode and Call of Duty. In Los Angeles, Rubens was charged in 2002 with misdemeanor possession of obscene material improperly depicting a child under the age of 18 in sexual conduct. Those charges were eventually dropped. He would say that he was a collector of erotica and didn't want anyone for one second to think that I am titillated by images of children. In 2010, he was back as his most prized character, producing, co-writing and starring in an updated revival of the P.O.P. Herman show. Los Angeles and then on Broadway at the Stephen Sondheim Theater. He and Judd Apatow then produced the third Pee Wee film, Pee Wee's Big Holiday, 2015, for Netflix. Rubens recently penned the first draft of his memoir, did the finishing touches on two more Pee Wee movie scripts and was developing projects for TV, including a variety show and a western called Fancy Pants, his publicist said. Survivors include his sister, Abby, and her wife, Kiwi, brother Luke, and nieces Lily and Sarah. Donations in his memory can be made to stand.